Adrian, stand up straight and tall. Shoulders down. The Walla family of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. All nine of them. Say bye-bye. Bye. Loves to make videos of everything they do. Hi. Lots of laughs and happy moments. There he is. But for 17-year-old Gavin Walla and his parents, there's one video that stands out. Taking them back to a time when Gavin was a toddler and almost died in an all too common at home accident. I had no idea that there was this silent and deadly killer in every room of my house. Can you feed the baby some cereal? Gavin's mother, Nikki, was making a video of two of her other children, her twins. They were being really cute, eating Rice Krispies off of their locker trays. And I thought I'd film for a few minutes. But unfortunately, I got more than just cute twins on film. This joyful moment is about to end as she is distracted by a phone off the hook and swings the camera around, catching a horrifying image of Gavin that we are going to show only because it had a happy ending. Gavin hanging by the neck from the pull cord on a set of window blinds, silently strangling. I somehow got Gavin off the window blinds, but I don't actually remember lifting him off. He choked himself. He's blue. Gavin. Gavin's father, Nate, raced in to help. Gaffney, please. I kind of squeezed him a little bit, and then he gasped for air. And then the sweetest sounds Gavin's parents had ever heard. He's three. He's crying. He's making noises. Can you breathe? window and he got himself hooked in the mini. We were the lucky ones. We basically. were the lucky ones. If you could call it that. He was left with a weld across his neck, but that was all. And fortunately, he doesn't really remember it. And it doesn't seem to have caused any permanent damage. Thin crust? Regular crust. Okay. Today, Gavin is a senior in high school, working after school at a pizza parlor. Eager, he says, for parents everywhere to see the disturbing video of his near-death experience with the cord of a window blind. I'm glad that it's out there and that it saved the lives of other children that have been fortunate enough to have parents who have seen that video.